Okay, okay. so Tegan's been painting uh, her golf ball. She's doing the golf ball flower now. And so she can't really hold it up very well just because it will roll off the plate. But you can look at the picture that's in your packet and see what the golf ball will look like. So she chose to uh, do the background pink, one solid color, and she mixed red and white to get that. And then she's going to do the center of it yellow. So now she's going to glue the center onto the, kind of put it all around the edge. There you go. Yeah, kind of where you think, you can see where it's gonna stick. Why don't you put the ball in there, yeah. So you can see doing it on the bottom is not gonna help. She's just gonna kind of need it. Now, if you don't have the glue or yours doesn't stick, that's fine. You can still put it in your garden like that. But she's gonna put on, and this time, usually we don't use much glue, but since this is a heavy golf ball, we need to use, you know, put it on fairly heavy like Tegan's doing right there. There you go, and then you can pull that back. There you go, so they can kind of see. And then at this point, she's gonna also put on some leaves before she does the uh, face. You have some green foam board in your packet, um, and most of you have a Sharpie, so if you have a Sharpie, you can draw two leaves. Have the size, the bigger the better, because it's kind of a big flower. So she's gonna draw some leaves. If you wanna add the veins in it, you can, but this is totally up to you. The picture in the packet looks like it has real leaves, but if you use real leaves, then they're gonna turn brown after a while. So that's why we're using the foam board. And then once she finishes with those, she's gonna cut those out and glue them to the bottom, just like the picture. And she's not going to do the ladybug right now, but with your extra golf ball, you can do a ladybug, you can do a grasshopper, you can kind of do whatever thing that you would think would be in a garden that looks kind of like, um, an insect that you can use for the, the golf ball. And, um, but the picture shows a little ladybug that's really cute. But if you're doing the ladybug, make sure that you always paint the background first. So you would do the red first, let it dry, and then come back with the black and make the lines and the dots. And then your packet is also googly eyes. Uh, especially for the insect, you would probably wanna do the googly eyes or just add two black dots with your black paint. That's fine too. Um, with your flower, you can just leave it like a flower, or you can add your googly eyes and a smiley, however you want to do that. Uh, this flower in the picture is a little bit different because they glued, the middle part isn't sticking up like yours is, um, but that's because I used a hot glue gun and I didn't know how many people would have a hot glue gun, so um, that's why yours sticks up like that, which I think is super cute anyway to be like that. So Tegan's cut out her leaves and she's going to kind of glue them underneath. She painted, she decided she didn't want to use googly eyes, so she painted her little happy face on her flower. And that's fine, this is your chance to be creative. I'm just giving you some of these directions and you can be as creative as you want to with these art projects. I'm gonna cut out that other one. And then her flower will be complete. Just always make sure to remember, if it needs two coats, let it dry thoroughly, because if it's not dry, it's not going to take the second coat very well. And I know you have to be patient, but just move on to a different project while you're waiting for it to dry. Just like we did in the art room. So she's finishing up that last one. And then she, hopefully she can hold it up for you to see when she gets that last leaf on. And that is your golf ball flower. She got that on. There we go. She's got to put a little bit more glue, just whatever it takes. And sometimes you might have to leave it sitting there for the glue to dry a little bit better. You can see the importance of covering your table so that you don't get everything on. A black trash bag works just fine. Can you turn it around a little bit so you can see a little happy face? There we go. And then you can go put that in your garden once it dries, or you can leave it in your room, just wherever you want. Um, also in this packet, we have, um, it's called an inspirational rock. We're not gonna do that because it's a rock and you paint it. But as you paint it, you can do whatever you want to with it. You can put it on a path that you walk if you're walking your neighborhood with your parents, or if you are going on vacation and you wanna leave it on the beach for some inspiration for someone, um, or if you just wanna keep it in your room, you can do that too, that doesn't matter. We are gonna do one more thing um, in this packet. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and we'll get ready for the next activity.